Hello, I'm Ron Sheldon. I'm the Technical Department Manager here at SoundOff Signal. At SoundOff Signal, we pride ourselves on providing excellent customer service and technical support to our customers. The technical video you're about to watch, we hope you find it beneficial in the operation and use of our products. Should you have any questions, please phone us or email us. So let's get started. Today we're going to walk through the operation and setup of the undercover LED insert. Now uh, this undercover LED insert is the new technology which is replacing some of the old technology. We always had strobe inserts in the past. Um, we still do sell strobe power supplies and strobe tubes. Uh, it is old technology and, and we're selling less and less every year. This is the up and coming thing. This basically has a one year warranty on your strobe tubes whereas you get five years on your LED insert undercover. Now your LED undercover comes with an instruction sheet. Looks like this. The instruction sheet uh, calls out a couple different models it comes in. It comes in either a 10 to 16 volt or a 10 to 30 volt model. On your front page it gives you installation and how to install it. Basically it's installed the same way as your strobe tubes were in the past, a one inch hole. It also calls out your wire colors and the functionality for those wire colors. On the back side is where we get into the flash patterns, which it has 30 different flash patterns. It has the operations and how to change patterns, how to sync the lights, how to reset to pattern one. And then over on this side here, we have the specifications. Uh, this draws roughly a little less than one amp uh, per unit. And we can only sync four of these together at one time. Now, the unit comes just the way you see it right here with an inline control board, controller, and your light head out here. Now, there are four wires that uh, you'll wind up attaching. The black is ground. The red is 12 volts. Your white has multiple functions. Your white is either pattern change, pattern reset, or sync, depending upon how you use it. Your green wire is your cruise mode and cruise mode is having the light on steady only low intensity and that's accomplished by having the light turned on touching 12 volts to the green wire and you get roughly about 60 percent intensity output but dim dim and solid is what you wind up having remove it you go back to your flashing as we're going here if I want to change patterns I take my white wire and I touch it to ground. Now, this particular light is a solid white light. We do offer this in bicolor, red blue or white red. And so some of our flash patterns are alternating within the light also, depending upon the ID setting you have. This one is all white, so it's going to wind up just flashing white back and forth with inside. Every time though I touch my white wire, the ground, we change patterns. Now let's say I'm pattern 16, 17, I'm not sure where I am and I need to get these back and I need to know where I am with this flash patterns. All I do is I take my white wire, I touch my white wire to ground and I apply 12 volts to my red wire. You notice it was on bright and then it dimmed down. Once it dims down, it's reset back to pattern one. I can remove my white wire from ground and I'm back to pattern number one. One of the other functions of the white wire are your sync functions. We have four sync settings and to accomplish getting into the sync mode, I take my white wire, I touch it to 12 volts. I apply my Black wire to ground, I'm in the sync mode setting. It's flashing once. I remove my white wire from 12 volts. I'm all set in my sync mode. To change the sync mode, I take my white wire and I touch it to ground. Each time I touch it, I change through one of the four sync settings. It flashes twice, pauses. Twice, pauses. I touch it one more time. It's going to flash three times and pause. Once I get done with number four, it goes right back to number one. Now these are to set up whether I want the two lights to alternate or be simultaneous, both flashing at the same time. 
And this is where you go in, you set up your sync function to accomplish that within the light. To get out of sync, I just remove power or ground, reapply it, and I'm back to normal operation of flashing. Again, taking my white wire, touching it to ground, changes my flash patterns. Should you have any other questions regarding the undercover, how you set it up, how you operate it, please contact SoundOff Signal Technical Service Department. One of the technicians there will be more than happy to answer your questions and help you solve your issue. Thank you very much.